Hello pretties, we are super excited to bring together this fun tutorial for you guys and go over not only how to apply your overlays, which of course is super easy, um, but how to change the color. So you can virtually apply any color imaginable to your overlay and we'll even show you how to match that color with the color tones in your image. Um, so we're gonna get started and show you how fun and easy this is. Okay, so first of course you want to have your image open in Photoshop. I've got mine open here. And I'm just going to navigate to File, okay, and Place. And now I can select my overlay. Now, of course, you'll have to navigate to where you have your overlays saved on your computer. If you haven't saved them anywhere yet, they'll likely be in your recent downloads. Okay, so I'm gonna click on Happy Holidays and press Place, okay? And so now I can just click and drag this anywhere within my image. Now, you can also resize the overlay by hovering over any of these dials press and hold shift to keep the proportions of your overlay. Otherwise your overlay can uh, look a little bit distorted. So press enter when you're done, okay? And you can always select your move tool right here in your tools panel and move that around again later because let's face it guys, sometimes it's just hard to make a decision. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the color of our overlay here. To do this, we're going to go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color. Now, don't be alarmed. Uh, we can rename this here at the moment, but I'm just gonna skip that. Don't be alarmed, your entire image will change colors here. This is going to go away in just a moment. The point at this, uh, in this part in our, of our edit, it's just to pick the color that we want. So let's say I wanna be kind of Christmassy and select a nice maroon color. We're gonna press okay. And this is just uh, a color on a separate layer that we're applying to our overlay. So to do that, I'm going to go to layer, create clipping mask, and bam, notice how the color only applies to our overlay which also just so happens to be the layer beneath it. That is important. If your layers panel is very cluttered, just make sure that your overlay layer is the layer directly beneath your color, okay? So that's how it's going to work. Whatever layer is beneath it is what that color will apply to, okay? So it is magic, but there's definitely a little bit of science behind that magic, or a process, rather. So let's say that we wanna change the color. To do that, I can double click on the little layer icon here, and I can click within my uh, color square from my color picker box and click on this strip here. Um, now, if I want to match that color to a color already existing in this image, I automatically have my color dropper tool here. I don't need to select anything. And I can just click within my image and notice I love this, how it's kind of, it's matching with her dress. I can have it match with the bokeh. Um, I really like the dress color that I'm getting here. Now notice there's different shades within the dress so I can click around and do that. All right, thanks so much guys for sticking around and discovering how super fun and easy it is to apply your overlays and change the colors for that nice custom look.